gap standing for Jesus Standing in the gap for family and friends Standing in the gap One love for all So we all can make it in To keep you updated on the current events that are happening in the world Because we live in the world And we have to uh, uh, know how we deal with justice, mercy, and walking humbly in light of what's happening in the world today. And there's so much happening in the world today that it's, uh, it's uh, hard to sometimes keep track of. But we've asked uh, 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 Marvel, and, and, and let me introduce you to Marvel. I haven't introduced you to her yet. She is uh, our producer, our collaborator, our person that does all the heavy lifting to make it easy for me to sit up here and talk to you. And so, uh, Marvel, before we get into Gap News, let me introduce you to everybody. Good morning, Saints. We're <laughs> back. We uh, took a little vacation. We had a little Thanksgiving. We uh, went to Florida on a family trip. Uh, we relaxed and rejuvenated, which we really needed to do. And here we are, back with uh, Why Do We Sing? And what an appropriate uh, study for this time of year. I'm excited to be back and I'm excited to be uh, with this study. But of course, we've got the Gap News. And uh, y'all know what all is going on. In October 7th, Hamas started a war over in the Middle East. And the repercussions of that war have uh, cascaded all over the world. But, you know, while people are saying, you know, Israel is so terrible for killing all these innocent Palestinians and all of that, I want to let you know that there's danger for Palestinians even here in the United States. And that's what we're going to be showing right now. Now to rising tensions back in the U.S. as federal authorities have opened a hate crime investigation into the horrific stabbing death of a six-year-old Palestinian American boy. His mother was also stabbed but survived. Stephanie Gosk has late details. Today, a mosque in Illinois filled with mourners for six-year-old Wadia Al-Fayoumi. A Palestinian American boy stabbed along with his mother in their home, police say just because they were Muslim. Hanan Shaheen survived. Her son did not. Wadiya's father is in shock. It's like a dream. I still didn't believe my son is gone. The family's landlord, 71-year-old Joseph Zuba, is accused of first-degree murder and hate crimes and has not entered a plea. This heinous crime did not take place in a vacuum. Over the past 10 days, Palestinians, Arabs, Muslim Americans have been subjected to a hateful, hostile campaign. As the funeral was being held, the mosque was also on guard with heavy security because they fear their community could be targeted again. People are afraid. I'm afraid to leave my house. I don't know if there's going to be some maniac who doesn't know any better. The FBI says it is seeing an increase in rhetoric targeting both Muslim and Jewish people. Law enforcement has ramped up security at places of worship. Since Hamas terrorists attacked Israel, the Anti-Defamation League says there have been at least 91 anti-Semitic incidents nationwide. Seven assaults, 20 incidents of vandalism, and 64 of harassment. FBI Director Christopher Wray speaking out against hate crimes over the weekend. The targeting of a community because of their faith is totally unacceptable. The FBI also warns that terror organizations may use this time to stage attacks here in the U.S., warning that the terror threat is ongoing and evolving. Thanks for Breaking overnight, police in Vermont say a suspect is now in custody, accused of shooting and wounding three young men of Palestinian descent. Police are investigating this incident as a possible hate crime. Errol Barnett has more from Burlington, Vermont. Authorities say three 20-year-old men of Palestinian descent, two of whom were wearing traditional Arab kafia scarves, were walking down this street Saturday night when they were approached allegedly by 48-year-old Jason Eaton, armed with a handgun. 
Police say without speaking, Eaton fired at least four rounds in their direction, injuring all three before fleeing the scene. While canvassing the area, ATF agents working with the Burlington Police Department detained Eaton in front of his apartment where the shooting took place. Officials say evidence found in a search of his home and preliminary investigations led them to believe Eaton is the gunman. That's pretty disconcerting. Two of the victims are U.S. citizens, the third a legal resident. They've been identified as Tashin Ahmed, a student at Trinity College, Kinnan Abdelhamid, who studies at Haverford College, and Hisham Awatani of Brown University. Two of them are in stable condition, but one suffered more serious injuries. I think their intention was to be just gone five minutes. Rich Price, Mr. Awatini's uncle, says the students were staying with him for Thanksgiving when they were shot. The local police chief said investigators will look into whether this was a hate crime. They went to uh, school together in Ramallah. They're best friends from growing up. And it's just unfathomable that a happy few days would end that way. And now those three friends are being treated at the UVM Medical Center, which you see behind me. The suspect, Jason Eaton, is scheduled to be arraigned today on three aggravated assault charges. We expect to learn more when the mayor and police chief address the press. And Nate, just to emphasize how much attention is on what took place here, the White House tells us that President Biden has been briefed on the incident. We will stay tuned. Errol, thank you. Wow. You know, um, the growth of anti-Semitism, you know, it's blowing up on Twitter and everybody's saying Elon Musk is, you know, he's fanning that flame. And um, now with this war, people are, you know, their hatred, that's what it is. Hatred is rampant towards Jews, towards Arabs, towards Muslims. You know, to think that someone would take a knife and stab a little boy. I think they said 26 times. Stab a little boy 26 times and say, he said that all Arabs must die or all Palestinians must die. Some crazy talk like that. That's a hate crime. And now they haven't said that the Vermont uh, situation is a hate crime, but what do you think, honey? You know, this uh, just reiterates what we just talked about, about spiritual warfare. Because you have, um, if you don't think that it's demonic that uh, pushed Hamas to uh, attack Israel the way they did, and, the, and with the violence and uh, bloodshed, raping, and and abducting and all that kind of thing, then then you're not listening. And because they knew what the response from Israel would be, and now that that response is happening, you know, they, they want to cry foul for what it is that, that Israel is doing. You know, this is the kind of thing that makes it hard for you to choose sides and all that. So I just choose God's side as I can, you know. The, um, 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 then then it's demonic also because of what's happening over here, what Marvel just went through with those uh, people that don't have a dog in the fight. Okay. Right. And Way over here. And they're taking it on themselves to uh, uh, do something. So big, big, uh, it must, must, must be, it's got to be demonic because why would you attack a little boy and stab him that many times to show that you don't like uh, those people? This little boy did nothing did nothing to him. Nobody did, probably. And then you have this one guy jump out and shoot these three kids. Um, uh, I mean, it, it, it is demonic. That's we're in spiritual warfare. And if, and, and uh, if this story doesn't uh, bring it home to you, then I guess nothing will. It really does bring it home. It uh, It is uh, definitely a spiritual warfare moment. Uh in our Gap News. Uh, and we've got some people online. If you want to uh, put any comments in the chat, what do you think about uh, folks just, you know, you walking down the street and they shoot you because you're Palestinian? Oh, 
or because you're black. I mean, we've experienced it down through the years. This is maybe a new thing for them, but as black people, we've had to experience this, uh, you know, through generations and generations. But if you have any comments, we'd love to hear them. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and get into our study. And we can...